Today, I'm gonna be installing just one solar panel and I'm going to be showing you kind of the secrets of the trade, just like how a professional would, you know, install it. So if you are installing solar panels, maybe you're new to solar or you're doing a DIY project or something like that, here's some tips, let's go. So in this video, I am going to be utilizing a micro inverter system. So these are the three micro inverters that I have from Hoy Miles, they're the HMS got a 1000 2000 and a 500 basically a, a single panel input dual panel and then four panel input um i'm using an easy solar jb 1.2 uh rooftop box to transition electrical into the attic space and then this uh attachment system uh made by uh unirac it's called the nxt nxt i believe um and then i just have a generic solar panel uh for kind of for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the camera up to give you a better view of what I'm doing as I'm setting this up. And then I'll also be doing a voiceover to kind of talk to you and give you some narrative about what I'm doing and what's some best practices. All right, so let's mark out the system on the roof. I'm gonna grab a hammer, some chalk and a tape measure. I have the dimensions in my head. I'm going to just like draw out all four corners. I like to trace out every single solar panel I install. Now I'm checking to see where the rafters are at to make sure that those are like within, you know, underneath the panel so these attachments will land. So I am marking those. Um, I'm going to be using these direct to deck attachments where there's like six screws per attachment and you can kind of hear the rafter and then porcupine it. I highly recommend doing this if you're a newbie. This is the Uterac NXT, comes with all the different hardware you need for attaching you know, multiple rails together, the feet, um, the solar panels that clamp to it, really all the hardware you need to do anything with solar panel attachments, you know, come with these. There's a lot of different manufacturers out there that make solar panel attachments. You can just kind of get the works and all the accessories that go with it for your kit. So I'm placing these on where I marked out those rafters are, and then I'm going to be doing um, a quick check with snapping a line. I highly recommend getting a chalk line and making sure all your lines are straight and even, and then also pre-cutting any rails or anything you can on the ground. So I'm gonna be cutting this stick in half, um, just a little bit longer than what the width of the solar panel is. I'm um, getting ready to put it up on the roof. So this might look a little bit overly simple just because it's four attachments, one panel, but it is very difficult to square solar panels on a roof when you have like a row, especially like more than like five or six panels. And so this is one thing I recommend is using a string line and measuring it all out. Next up, we are going to be installing the rooftop box. This is where the wires from the micro inverters are going to transition into the attic of this build. This can be a little intimidating to do, so I'm showing you how I do this. So essentially, I'm you know cutting out where this gets flashed in the shingles, drilling a hole in the backside, and then marking it on the roof, and then drilling a hole that's slightly bigger in the roof. I generally like to use this three quarter inch like FMC that goes into the attic that I can pull all of my wires through it. So it is like a three quarter inch hole in the back of this uh, junction box. And then I'm doing like, I think that was like an inch and a half a uh, hole saw. But basically this is going to get pushed down into the attic, but it screws onto the bottom um, of this, you know, junction box. Um, this can be a little bit intimidating. A few uh, tricks is I would just make sure you put sealant on it, make sure it's screwed down, make sure you didn't like strip it or uh, mess up any shingles or anything. Um, and you know, do some quality work because this will leak. So I'm drilling a couple more holes in with some cord grips. So let's check out these micros from Hoy Miles. So these are a pretty cool product. Um, there's a micro for one input, one for two inputs, and one for four inputs. So you basically have a 500 watt, 1000 watt, and 2000 watt. I'm gonna be using this single one uh, for demonstration purposes because I have one panel. But these products um, are really slick. They're a really cool product. It's going to basically plug into the solar panel and then it has a pre-made cable that goes into the deck box, but you're running 240 out of these. So you basically have um, three wires. You have a ground and you have line one, line two, and no neutral. 
Um, I am running some uh, number six bare copper, which you attach to the frame of the solar panels or the attachments and then put on a grounding bar with the ground that goes um, down to the panel and as well as the one that comes out of the uh, pre-made cable. Um, it is very important to ground the frame of solar panels. Um, I'd highly, highly recommend um, your panels are grounded. But once that's all cleaned up, uh, I'm going to put the lid on there and then tighten up uh, the attachments. It's, it's very important to have all your wires off the ground. I'm just using some high quality cable ties here, but there are a lot of different products out there made for solar for like specifically holding up solar panel wires. So you have a ton of different high quality uh, cable ties and a ton of these different metal clips and other options out there. Highly recommend using some quality stuff to make sure those panels don't sag over time. Now I'm carrying this panel up and getting it ready to set it. I'm gonna kind of set this down where the cables are as close to possible with the micro, plug it in and then just kind of lay it down. Um, solar panels are pretty heavy and if you're up on a roof, um, be careful, this is really dangerous. I always recommend being harnessed in, um, maybe doing a two person job, but this is no sweat for me. I install tons of these every single day. So nothing crazy, but making sure none of the wires are hanging down and the solar panel system is installed and quality, so. Well, that's everything. Thank you for watching this YouTube video, um, how-to video. Huge thank you to Hoy Miles for sponsoring this video, um, showcasing their microinverters. They're a cool product. If you're looking at solar, check them out. They have uh, um, a lot of different, you know, different variations of micros that make for a really clean, awesome installation. I've been testing them out on my installations. Um, working with them uh, for repair jobs and uh, it's a good product. I have a ton of other videos that go into more specific information about maybe commissioning the Hoy Miles system or repairing other various inverters or um, reviews on different attachments and everything on my channel so check that out as well. The next time